Hi, so having finished Cloudpunk, I kind of felt that I needed something else to kind of have a little play through, do a couple of video, a couple of videos a week that would just be building on um, what I've recorded before as a sort of general theme and everything. And I kind of realized that um, it's the, well, it's just gone the 10th anniversary of uh, the release of uh, Kerbal Space Program. I have owned a copy of KSP in some way, shape or form, probably most of that time. I can't remember the exact timeline, but I remember downloading a really early demo version of it where you only got a couple of rockets or, you know, a couple of rocket parts or whatever to put together and throw them into orbit. And that was it. It was free to download. It wasn't on Steam or anything like that. Um, I think I stumbled on it in some space oriented subreddit. I, I really can't remember the details. I can just remember pottering away with it and having fun with it and liking it and then not really doing much with it until it was actually finally released. Um, and then I, I think I didn't actually buy a copy for quite a few years. I think I actually bought a copy for my son first um, because he was after it. And then, yeah, I bought myself a copy as well. Ah, probably in some Steam sale if it was on sale or whatever. And I've owned it ever since. And I go in sometimes and I build some rockets and throw stuff into orbit, but I've, I, I think I maybe have got to the moon once, um, probably didn't land, probably crash landed or whatever. I've never done anything really serious or clever or anything like that with it. So what I thought I'd do as, um, uh, you know, an occasional series just for my own um, fun more than anything else is actually do the career mode. Um, I've never done the career mode. I've forgotten pretty much everything I know about playing KSP anyway. Um, and actually recording a little series got me to get through Cloudpunk quite nicely. So I thought, okay, um, that's what I'm going to do with KSP. So if you're an avid KSP um, player, astronaut, engineer, whatever you want to call yourself, um, Sorry, you probably don't want to watch this. You're going to hate this. Um, I'm not sure that anyone's really going to watch this, but this is me, someone who's owned KSP for many years, but is basically a novice getting started with it. So, all of those caveats out of the way. Let's go for... Career mode, um, yeah, difficulty normal, let's go for it, start. So I'll, I'll just start this with um, a couple of launches, try and familiarise myself with the interface, it's a while since I've done it. Um, as always, I'm sat on my sofa, this is up on my TV, so I've actually got the resolution on this running fairly low, so I can stand a chance of reading it, even then that's actually quite hard to read from this distance. Anyway, let me just have a quick read through this. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, right click over the Space Center facilities to view more detailed information. Left click. Yeah, okay. Check out the training section on the main menu. Yeah. So, I'm guessing, if I remember, what I want to be doing is basically building up some science points, which I don't have any at the moment. Which, so my aim is to work up this technology tree, I seem to remember. So, yeah, I need five science points to actually research that and five to research that. So, I'm going to guess we have a space center so the thing we should do is go and have a look at what we can build um yeah okay yeah i remember all of that okay good so what does that little thing mean 
already I've run into that little looks like a from this distance looks like a little teardrop or something like that um, so uh, we're gonna want some kind of command module so let's start off with something really simple um, so we want that we don't have much in the way of engines to choose from so let's slap that under there well, that's handy so that seems to actually come with its own decoupler so that's a solid fuel booster so we're only going to right we've got no comms uh, i don't need any of that what i could do with is where is it okay there we go probably want a parachute okay so we'll fire the rocket decouple deploy the parachute I'm not sure isn't there a thing for showing the center of mass I seem to remember what was the um, oh there's so many things I'm going to have to remind myself it's a long 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 time since I've played this um, I seem to remember there was a no a okay there's a center of mass do you know I can't remember the <laughs> I can't remember the details of how I should do this and whether uh, where I want what let, let, let's pretend we didn't look at that for now let's just do some proper science and just throw some shit at the wall and see what sticks um, right I seem to remember we want crew um, no, I seem to remember Jeb always got to be the one to go first. So let's go with Valentina. Okay, we're going for our first ever launch. This is an important moment. Try again. Important moment for Kerbin Kind. Um, right. So my plan here is just to throw this up until we run out of fuel, decouple and get back down. And hopefully that gets us some science points. Okay. In three, two, one, go. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. No, don't do No, 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 no. Don't do that. Well, okay. Valentine seems to be enjoying herself. Right, we'll decouple that thing. Okay, we've gone as high as we're going to go. We're now falling again. Let's just wait a moment. Well, she seems happy. So that's a good sign, right? Okay, let's get the shoot out. Is this going to get us any science, do we think? Where did the uh, booster go? Is that it over there? No, I can see a little black splodge over there, but I'm not sure what that is. Okay, it's going to take a while to get down. I'm going to use this moment to have a little sip of drink. Mm. I can speed it up, actually, can I? Let's just... There is a key press for speeding it up, but I've forgotten what it is. Come on. And speed up towards the surface and then um almost there. Almost there. Right, let's go down real time. Meet our shadow. Yay! We're back down. Can we get out? <gasps> we can. Uh, space to let go. Yay! Get up! Get up! I feel like we've achieved something. Can we, like, plant a flag or something? 
Is it F for flag? No. I'm sure it said something about being able to plant a flag. Uh, can we? No, probably not. <laughs> I can do that though. I can remove my helmet. There we go. Oh, might give me some more science. Oh, that did. Cool. Can I transmit it? Does it say no? Oh, okay. Right, so hopefully that means what I can do is go to the tracking station, I seem to remember. Okay, yeah, and I think I can then recover. Yay, and I got five science out of that. Oh, I got ten science. Oh, yeah. Did I already have something? Where did I get all that science from? Uh, okay, that looked good. How do I recover? Oh no. <laughs> Does she just have to walk home? <laughs> do I have some way of recovering her? Uh, that was a start though, right? There she is. Can I bring her home? Recover. Oh, and that got me some more signs because she had some. Did I do something wrong there? What's that? Oh, it's debris. Let's recover that as well. All right, cool. We tied it up. We did our first launch and we got some signs. So I have. 13.2 science, so uh, 5 and 5, so we can afford that, so let's research some extra rocket parts, what does that get us, more decouplers, of th oh, thermometer, does that mean I can make different measurements and things, um, ah, comm stuff, right, cool, Research that as well. So that's going to need 20, that's going to need 18, that's going to need 15. And yeah, I've only got 3.2 now. So I suppose we'll build our next thing. So we should, should we give that a go. Um, so we're going to want a parachute. Oh, no, come off. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Um, did I see... Okay, so we've got liquid fuel engine, but... Oh, that's quite a pathetic tank, isn't it? All right, stick with the solid booster for the moment. Uh, I can't see... Is that... Oh, that... That's bigger, right? So let's go for something bigger. Um, I'm getting distracted. Right, I want this. And we're going to want... Okay, I think I'm going to have to do those in a different order. Right. Decouple... Ah, what's going wrong? Okay, decouple on there. That on there, that on there. Right, let's just make sure. Yeah, I don't want to decouple on the. Right, so fire the booster, decouple, do that. Right, do we have. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's put thermometer on there. And let's put some mystery goo, I remember this, on there. Now, is that going to make 
that a bit we're going to throw things off so let's check some fins on a because I'm thinking maybe it'll keep help keep it upright and B it's a fucking rocket it needs fins right they look cooler um, um, should give it a name um, let's just call it mark 2 so I'm going to save hopefully it saves let's launch oh ah we haven't assigned crew dull who should we give go on then we'll give Jeb a go this time launch okay so solid again oh delete all those don't need all those how do I get rid of that ah there we go right um we haven't really got much of a launch pad have we it's just like a patch of dirt okay um so solid booster then decouple parachute but we also while we're up there do we need to do something okay kind of click on that okay should i observe the goo down here that would that get me some nah we'll do that another time maybe i can actually get some science just from observing the goo on the pad because i seem to remember that works in different places so let's go in three two one go oh that's not going good yeah the goo's making us drag a bit let's see if i can stir it back I think this is going to be a water landing Ooh, ooh, burning up that's not good Slow down, slow down, we don't want to burn up. Wow. Crikey, we're almost out of the atmosphere. Right, let's observe the goo. Ooh, that got us lots of science. Well, I presumably I can't transmit it, so I'm hopefully going to get it when we recover. Right, can I find that thermometer? Is there anything I can do with that thermometer? Come back here. Stop. Ah. Ooh, log temperature. <gasps> that goes even more science. Cool. Hopefully I get that. Right, well, you're having quite the journey, Jeb. What's that? Um, okay, what's toggle display? Oh, I see. Can I log multiple? Ah, overwrite. No, I don't want to overwrite. Oh, I see, okay. Ah, uh, presumably, if I could transmit, I could log multiple times. How do I make this go away? Uh, okay. Wow, we're really, really quite high up. Oh my goodness, we're still going up. Um. I didn't put any kind of heat shield on this. I wasn't expecting to go quite so high. This might not end well. Sorry, Jeb. Now, I haven't thought if I should set myself a rule for resetting back to the vehicle assembly building and having another go. I'm, I'm inclined to um, not do that. I feel like that would not be in the spirit of things. Oh, look at the smile on his face. 
and he might be facing certain death. Oops. I seem to remember, is it M? Yes, M for the map. Crikey. That's quite the hop. Oh, this poor guy. How do I go back? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Might be having our first accident. Okay. We're sort of hitting the atmosphere. Maybe we'll be lucky. Maybe it'll just get really hot. But we're landing in the sea, so that's fine. It'll cool off again, right? This is how it works. I didn't even look to see if there was a heat shield available because, like, I didn't think I'd need it. Oh, this is really tense. This is, like, really tense. So far, so good. I mean, we're not in the. They're starting to make wind noises. Oh, we're going to get away with this. Jeb looks hopeful. Oh, oh. Oh, do you know what? I think I'm getting away with it. Okay, we weren't going too fast. Gonna do it. Jeb, you're gonna survive. See, he knew. That's why he was grinning so much. I'm not sure what a good height is to actually deploy the chute. Probably about now. Oh, this might be quite good if I get all that science. Right, let's just speed that up a little bit. Almost there. Shadow. Yeah, we're back and we're intact. Mm. Jeb safe, and I get him to pop out and do stuff, but like, don't know. It looks fairly deep, and I don't want to kill him. Okay, so let's see if we can do this then. So off to the tracking station. Where did we land? There we go. Oh! What did I do then? Oh, okay, that takes me to it. Alright. I double clicked on it thinking it might focus it. Right, back to the tracking station. How's that? Right. Okay. Let's recover. Recover. <gasps> Thirty seven science. Temperature scan of the upper atmosphere. Mystery gear observation. Yeah, cool. Right, we're good. Nice. Okay, so ah, what can we? Oh, our bigger fuel tanks. Or we can improve our stability. So what have I got? I got thirty-seven. That cost eighteen. 
survivability. What's all of this? Heat shields. E A uh, E M. Um. Right. So I think we can afford. Let's go for that. So that's going to get us higher and faster. So we want that. So we can come back safer. And we'll worry about stability next time. Right. I think I'm in kind of inclined to leave it here without getting into a big one. But I'm just curious about one more thing. And that is... Oh, okay, so I've got a bill from scratch. Um, I'm wondering if I can... Uh, lost... Ooh, ooh. Right, so let's put that on that work. No, I want to zoom in. Uh, how do I zoom in? It's making me go up and down. Okay, I'm sure there's a zoom, but I don't know where it is. Um, let's put a goo on there. And also uh, let's put a thermometer on there. And then let's put someone in it. Yeah, let's put Bill in. Sorry, Bill. This isn't going to be the most interesting mission. But I just want to check something. <laughs> This is uh, the most degrading mission possible, I'm sure. Right, so display on. Log the pressure, that got us some science. Uh, let's observe the goo. That got some science as well, I think. And. Let's log that. Right, so now what happens if I go back to the tracking station and recover? Yes, easy science. Okay, so that's recovering me some money. I didn't even think about um, how much that little experiment cost me. Oops. Didn't think about that. Right, let's have a look at that. So, yeah, got 11 signs now. Um, right, it's not going to be enough to get the stability. Um, but yes, um, I will stop that there and come back and start working my way through that tree over the next few weeks or so. Maybe, possibly, we'll see how I feel. I like the idea that this is going to, after 10 years of KSP being available, get me to actually try and play it properly rather than dip in, build a rocket, laugh as it explodes and then not play it again for six months. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.